Thank you, Lord. This morning we give you praise, Jesus. When you are God, no one like you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for another day you have made, oh Lord Jesus. The word said we will rejoice and be glad in the day that you have made. So shall it be to us in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the blessing of sleeping and waking up, oh Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this brand new day that you have made, oh Lord. Glory, glory, glory to your holy name, Jesus. King of kings, Lord of lords, we've done it again, O Lord Jesus, in our lives. No man has been counted among the living, O Lord, today. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you, O Lord, God, for disappointing, O Lord Jesus. All the program and all the wicked enemies against our lives. Thank you, O Lord, Jesus. We give you praise, Jesus. No one like you, Lord Jesus. No one can do the things you do. Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Bless your name, O oh Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And therefore, Father, we come this morning, Lord Jesus, saying, O Lord, Father, Lord Jesus, you hold the ends of the earth and shake off every evil, every wickedness, being arranged, every program from Peter fell against our spiritual and body. We shake them off in the name of Jesus. We scatter, we scatter, we scatter, we scatter, we scatter. They will not hold in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No one from against you, no one from against us shall prosper. Every tongue will rise up against us in judgment. We declare them condemned this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Masa nanga mako poro in the bazar in the Reke pasa takaire borea. In the name of Jesus. For our Lord Jesus, we decree and declare every program of frustration, every program of disappointment, every program of the enemy in any form, any shape, being programmed against us, being programmed, Lord Jesus, for our Lord Jesus, against the things, oh Lord Jesus, we, 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 we have to do. Every organization, every mass and sorcery, every divination that have been carried out, and things have been programmed accordingly. Mass and the West Cutter, West Cutter, West Cutter, West Cutter. West Cutter in the name of Jesus. Destroy the name of Jesus. Mass and the Moria. We pray in the name of today. Let everything the Lord have made, the program of the Lord, in the name of Jesus. We walk into what the Lord has for us today in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of the Lord, lead us, guide us in the name of Jesus. We lead the end and the angels of God to go and make a way for us where there is no way in the name of Jesus. Those figures, those things that are made to bring anger, to bring annoyance, to bring, you know, to bring trouble, let the angels of God go. He moved them from our ways. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let everything, Lord Jesus, work together for our good. And after all, we have the need to give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And let's take the songs together. Amen. You are so good.
my salvation, my all and all you are. Thank you, Lord, this morning once again for the grace to be among the living. Glory be to your holy name, Jesus. Glory be to your name, Lord Jesus. Glory be to your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to this very wonderful day that the Lord has made. Yeah. You know, we have started very early this morning. Hallelujah. Thank God for His name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, I want us to go straight now to the Word of God. Hallelujah. Joshua chapter Joshua chapter 7. Hallelujah. Joshua chapter 7. From verse 1 to end. Hallelujah. Father, I'll speak to your children this one once again, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Open our eyes and open our ears of understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Joshua 7 from our son to end. Chapter 7 But the people of Israel broke faith in regard to the devoted things. For Achan, the son of Carmi, son of Zabdi, son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took some of the devoted things, and the anger of the Lord burned against the people of Israel. Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is near beth Aven, east of Bethel, and said to them, Go up and spy out the land. And the men went up and spied out Ai. And they returned to Joshua and said to him, Do not have all the people go up, but let about two or three thousand men go up and attack Ai. Do not make the whole people toil up there, for they are few. So about three thousand men went up there from the people, and they fled before the men of Ai, and the men of Ai killed about thirty-six of their men, and chased them before the gate as far as Shepherim, and struck them at the descent. And the hearts of the people melted and became as water. Then Joshua tore his clothes and fell to the earth on his face before the ark of the Lord until the evening, he and the elders of Israel. And they put dust on their heads. And Joshua said, Alas, O Lord God, why have you brought this people over the Jordan at all? To give us into the hands of the Amorites? To destroy us? Would that we had been content to dwell beyond the Jordan. O Lord, what can I say, when Israel has turned their backs before their enemies? For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land will hear of it, and will surround us and cut off our name from the earth. And what will you do for your great name? The Lord said to Joshua, Get up. Why have you fallen on your face? Israel has sinned. They have transgressed my covenant that I commanded them. They have taken some of the devoted things. They have stolen and lied and put them among their own belongings. Therefore the people of Israel cannot stand before their enemies. Mm. They turn their backs before their enemies you cannot stand before their enemy because they have defied, they have stolen, they have done, they have sinned against the Lord. How do you? you see, the sin makes your enemy to be over you. You see, the reason why it's very, very important after everything we use them, no, 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 no. The format of Job, either you have seen or you have not seen or any. Just always ask God, have mercy. No matter whatever, have mercy. Please, Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. See, the thing that God doesn't like is this. When you have done something, you know you have done something, then you just begin to be proud of it. You don't, you don't give in. You can't confess your sin. You cannot say, I'm sorry. You continue it. Because when the enemy make, your mind, make, make your mind up, you want to say, Tell the Lord that you're sorry or repent from it. You continue to wallow in that sin, in that iniquity. Then you continue and continue and continue. You begin to draw more anger of God all around you. See what happened to the to, to Saul. Saul continued to work stronger in wickedness. In the process you're working stronger in wickedness, you're getting further away from God, exposing yourself to all manners of dangers. May God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus. Anyway, we have opened the door to the enemy. 
consciously or unconsciously, the hand in the hand, mercy, Lord, we shut those doors. We repent from our sins, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let the enemy not prevail against us, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's go. Because they have become devoted for destruction, I will be with you no more unless you destroy the devoted mm. things from among you. Get up, consecrate the people, and say, Consecrate yourselves for tomorrow. For thus says the Lord God of Israel, There are devoted things in your midst, O Israel. You cannot stand before your enemies until you take away the devoted things from among you. Mm. In the morning, therefore, you shall be brought near by your tribes. And the tribe that the Lord takes by lot shall come near by clans. And the clan that the Lord takes shall come near by households. And the household that the Lord takes shall come near man by man. And he who is taken with the devoted things shall be burned with fire, he and all that he has, mm. because he has transgressed the covenant of the Lord, and because he has done an outrageous thing in Israel. So Joshua rose early in the morning and brought Israel near, tribe by tribe, and the tribe of Judah was taken. And he brought near the clans of Judah, and the clan of the Zerahites was taken. And he brought near the clan of the Zerahites man by man, and Zabdi was taken. And he brought near his household man by man, and Achan the son of Carmi, son of Zabdi, son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, was taken. Then Joshua said to Achan, My son, give glory to the Lord God of Israel, and give praise to him. And tell me now what you have done. Do not hide it from me. And Achan answered Joshua, Truly I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and this is what I did. When I saw among the spoil a beautiful cloak from Shinar, and two hundred shekels of silver, and a bar of gold weighing fifty shekels. Then I coveted them and took them. And see, they are hidden in the earth inside my tent, with the silver underneath. So Joshua sent messengers, and they ran to the tent, and behold, it was hidden in his tent with the silver underneath. And they took them out of the tent and brought them to Joshua and to all the people of Israel. And they laid them down before the Lord. And Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan the son of Zerah, and the silver and the cloak and the bar of gold, and his sons and daughters, and his oxen and donkeys and sheep, mm. and his tent and all that he had. Mm. And they brought them up to the valley of Achor. And Joshua said, Why did you bring trouble on us? The Lord brings trouble on you today. And all Israel stoned him with stones. They burned them with fire and stoned them with stones. And they raised over him a great heap of stones that remains to this day. Then the Lord turned from his burning anger. Therefore to this day, the name of that place is called the Valley of Achor. You will have mercy in the name of Jesus. You see, when we continue to do evil, wickedness, we are bringing judgment to, not just to you. You see, when we decide to continue witchcraft, continue in sorcery, continue in wickedness serving demon obeying them allowing them to be controlling us sacrificing to them see if you're not the only one who is suffering this who will suffer it see the whole family the whole family the whole family this is the reason why it's very important to you we keep away from anything that is not of god see innocent children innocent wife Including the animals, everything was caused. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. We now move on to the book of Acts, chapter 12. You see, in the process of trying to be so greedy, as if God had not been blessing them, God had not been keeping you. The clothing you are wearing on this wife is not yet, it's not torn, it's not nothing. Is imagine even in the wilderness, God has blessed you with sheep and the you know, livestock, bless you with children, bless you with imagine. You were having all these things before you went to steal. Is God, no God, have God not been taking care of us? May God, right? may we be very careful in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You remember that we have covenant with God. Is that covenant will not allow us to do anything we want to do? 
Covenants should make us to be separated, knowing who we are. Putting value in what God and the, in, 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 you knowing God, you are greater than morning, greater than you know. Those who have a bit of understanding of, 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 of this, they said this kind of stuff. I rather have God, I rather have Jesus than silver or gold. Imagine the Naaman with all his riches, with everything he had. He surrendered to the prophet. The prophet too treated him accordingly. But the, the prophet knew who he was and knew what he has. But this day, the other way around, when we see men who have money, we have to bow and watch them. You don't know what you have. You don't know what you have. I pray in the name of Jesus, the spirit of contentment will take over us in the name of Jesus. The spirit of God in the name of Jesus. Let they have mercy on us, O oh Lord Jesus. Oh, we have been allowed distractions and loss of the things of this world to become priority in our lives. All right, they're supposed to be other things. They're not supposed to be the main thing. And, and these other things shall be added unto you. They are the additional. The main thing, the greater than silver and gold, you should have what the Spirit of God in us. Jesus Christ, we have the God we have. The God we serve should be greater than anything. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 12 from our son to end. Chapter 12 About that time, Herod the king laid violent hands on some who belonged to the church. He killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the days of unleavened bread. And when he had seized him, he put him in prison, delivering him over to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending after the Passover to bring him out to the people. So Peter was kept in prison, but earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. Now when Herod was about to bring him out, on that very night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and sentries before the door were guarding the prison. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood next to him, and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him, saying, Get up quickly. And the chains fell off his hands. And the angel said to him, Dress yourself and put on your sandals. And he did so. And he said to him, Wrap your cloak round you and follow me. And he went out and followed him. He did not know that what was being done by the angel was real, but thought he was seeing a vision. When they had passed the first and the second guard, they came to the iron gate leading into the city. It opened for them of its own accord, and they went out and went along one street, and immediately the angel left him. When Peter came to himself, he said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. When he realized this, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose other name was Mark, where many were gathered together and were praying. And when he knocked at the door of the gateway, a servant girl named Rhoda came to answer. Recognizing Peter's voice, in her joy she did not open the gate, but ran in and reported that Peter was standing at the gate. They said to her, You are out of your mind. But she kept insisting that it was so, and they kept saying, It is his angel. But Peter continued knocking, and when they opened, they saw him and were amazed. But motioning to them with his hand to be silent, he described to them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he said, Tell these things to James and to the brothers. Then he departed and went to another place. Now when day came, there was no little disturbance among the soldiers over what had become of Peter. And after Herod searched for him and did not find him, he examined the sentries and ordered that they should be put to death. Then he went down from Judea to Caesarea and spent time there. Now Herod was angry with the people of Tyre and Sidon, and they came to him with one accord, and having persuaded Blastus, the king's chamberlain, they asked for peace, because their country depended on the king's country for food. Hmm. On an appointed day, Herod put on his royal robes, took his seat upon the throne, and delivered an oration to them. And the people were shouting, 
the voice of a god. Hmm. I pray may the Lord, the name of Jesus, answer you. Answer me. Answer us the name of Jesus. Yeah, the Lord by his mighty hand delivered Peter. It was like a dream. May it be like a dream to you what the Lord will do in your life this season. In the name of Jesus. It was a dream to Peter because he did not compromise his standard. He did not compromise his faith. And the heaven was happy with him. And the Lord stood. And the Lord stand for you in the name of Jesus. And here you go. Herod, because of pride and pompous, because of what he has achieved. Because another country depends on him for food. And then that came in, begin to begin to be proud without understanding that the, the life he has is God. Everything, the, the, the bread is God. May God deliver us. You see what pride did. May God deliver you. Deliver me in the name of Jesus. Let's read this scripture. Not of a man. Immediately an angel of the Lord struck him down because he did not give God the glory. Mm. And he was eaten by worms and breathed his last. But the word of God increased and multiplied. And Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they had completed their service, bringing with them John, whose other name was Mark. Yeah, every week or so, when I sign against you, yeah, they, then they receive the striking of the angels of God in the name of Then this very angel visit every week or so that has been assigned against your spiritual body that have been troubling your life in the name of Jesus. And stop them in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So shall it be. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Imagine a king in delivering oration and making people to be so, you know, <clears throat> so proud and pump. And the Lord humble him. Imagine a human being. Just like now he was he was, you know, the angel of the Lord struck him now in the next few minutes. I will say warm eating, warm being to come out. And eat someone who did not even rot it. Who did not even decay. Hmm. What their power. This God is too much. I will call something that is alive now to, to be to decay immediately and eaten by warm. Let's hear him. Let's hear him. That those who, who have listened to, who are hearing me now. They are still continuing their wickedness against their fellow human being. If this world cannot put fear in you, hmm. Hmm. may God have mercy in Jesus' name. Let's go to the book of um, Psalm 23 from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The greatest God ever. In Jesus' name. And I pray for, for us this morning. Pray for mercy. Have mercy on your children, O Lord. Forgive us our sins, O Lord Jesus. And let every wicked hand holding us leave us alone. If they refuse to leave, leave us alone. For I judge them by your rods. In the name of Jesus. From verse 1 to end, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in great passions. He leaves me beside the sea waters. He restores my soul. He leaves me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. Hallelujah. Even though I walk through the running in the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your Lord and your side to comfort me. You prepare to for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflow. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Man shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 59, 1 and 2. Deliver me from my enemies, O oh my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who walk evil and save me from not thirsty men. In the name of Jesus we pray. In Psalm 91, from verse 1 to end. 
He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust, for He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, the deadly pestilence. My son and Moses, when you cover you with his pinion and under his wing, you find refuge. In the name of him, his faithfulness, the sheet in book that you will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that fly by day. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. You will not fear the arrow that fly by day, nor the person that talk in darkness, nor the social that was around day. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but they will not come near you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place. The most high is your refuge. In the name of Jesus. No evil should be around before you. No plague will come near your tent in the name of Jesus. My son in the Morocco in the name of Jesus. For he will command his angel concerning you to guide you in all your ways. In the heaven will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion, the adder, the young lion, and the serpent shall trample on that foot. In the name of Jesus. My son, that because he hopes fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Psalm 144 from verse 1 to end. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, whom train my hands for war, my fingers for the battle. He is my steadfast north, my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield, in whom I take refuge, who subdues people under me. My son and most of the day. Oh Lord, what is the man that you drink? God him. Son of man that you think of him. Man is like a bread, is there like a passing shadow? Bury your heavens and come down, oh Lord. Turn the mountain so the smoke. Not for the mountain and scatter them. Set out your hand from all high in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, my son, the most so compatible here. Rescue me and deliver me from many waters, from the hands of the foreigners whose mouth speaks lies. My son, the most so compatible and the most so compatible here. And whose right hand is rather than a falsehood. I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon a ten string harp. In the name of Jesus, I will pray to you who give you to the kings, who rescue David from the cruel sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the from the hand of the foreigners, the man standing in the Lord. Use my strength, my good right hand, and the falsehood. May our sons in their youth be like a plant full grown, our daughters like a canopy nurse, call for a stretch of your paddles. In the name of Jesus. May, may our glory be full, providing all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousand in our field. May our cattle be heavy with young, suffering them with some offender and bearing. In the name of Jesus, my son in Moses, may there be no cry of distress in our streets. Bless our people to whom some blessing fall. Bless our people whose God is the Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In Psalm 124, from verse 1 to end. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when people rose up against us, they would have stolen us of our life. When their anger was coming against us, then the smoke will have swept us away, and the drought will have gone over us. Then over us will have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bear from the snake of their founder. The snake is broken, we have escaped. And so our help is in the name of the Lord, who made the heavens and the earth. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you glory for what you've done, O Lord, this morning. Glory, honor, majesty be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, Jesus, we give you praise this morning. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. And this one we pray in the name of Jesus. Let there be peace in the land of Israel. Let there be peace in Jerusalem. Let there be peace, O Lord Jesus. Man, that the United Kingdom and all the countries of the world. But make our leaders to be an instrument of peace. Protect and deliver them from every wickedness, every anger. Give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. 
Amen and amen. I will pray this one. May the Lord show you. May the Lord bless you, protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you His favor and give you His peace in every area of your life. In the name of God and prosper. Go and come back with testimony. May the Lord shadow you with His blessings, with His blessings. In the name of Jesus, every evil hand, every evil power that have raised up against you in any area of your life, in the name of Jesus, then their evil hand, O oh Lord, may they begin to eat their own selves in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus for let your eyes let your shadow let your hand be upon us Lord today and after all we have a reason to give you glory thank you Jesus for your blessings thank you Lord Jesus, for protection in Jesus name we pray amen and amen love you all and have a very wonderful day you see you again by the special grace of God in this evening in Jesus name we pray amen and amen I'll give Jesus to give you praise, Jesus. Oh.